Okay, so what I want to show y'all today is what I think is the quickest way to make your loops lo-fi in the MPC standalone. And what do I mean by lo-fi? I'm talking about that vinyl sim effect you might find in the SP404. You might find it in some guitar pedals or some software plugins. But I'm looking at using the MPC standalone solely in the tools that are inside of it. Um, so the main characteristic of that vinyl simulation is that is the wow and flutter. So the wow and flutter is this um, characteristic of variations in pitch, which comes from the imperfect playback of vinyl or tape. Now, in order to achieve this, we can use what's called an LFO in the MPC. Now, LFO stands for low frequency oscillation, so it's a very, very low frequency that's not even audible. It's a, either an electronic signal, I guess, or a waveform um, that has a certain shape, and it's used to modulate or to affect the sound of our choice. A lot of times it's used to create tremolo or vibrato effects, and that's exactly what the vibrato is, these quick little variations in pitch. But that's, that's more controlled or it's more um, rhythmic. So we want to use that uh, basic idea, bring it in here and there so it's more of an imperfect, non, like not really expected variation in pitch that makes, you, makes it sound like that warble of vinyl or tape. Okay, so to get to our LFO section, we're going to go to Menu, Program Edit. Then there's a little tab right here that says LFO. So, like I was saying, an LFO is an electronic signal, or it's a waveform. So these waveforms can have different shapes, and they can be selected right here. So I'll scroll through them. They could either be a sine. We got a triangle. We got many shapes, a saw, a square, and then we got the noise. So by default, they're all set to sign so I got this piano sound here so what I want to do is show you a few settings to get you started now I'm not gonna say this is absolute um, there are some certain sweet spots that I have that I use and then you can kinda go from there and see what you like so first thing I'm gonna start with is this destination that is labeled pitch so if I play this back and then adjust the pitch you will start to hear it kind of warble and up and down in pitch so let's do it now I'm going up really high just to demonstrate that warble and pitch but this is definitely not the sound we're looking for for me the sweet spot is around three so I'll set it to three and then just listen from there and then We'll get into some of the other settings right here. Now, I don't, I don't necessarily like the sign because you can see it has this shape where it is going up and down in pitch quite a bit. I want something that's a little, uh, a little less frequent, a little less predictable. So I can go through some shapes. One of them that I like more is the saw so this sounds a bit better to me so that's okay we also have the rate so you can see as I said um, the LFO is a very low frequency at the moment by default it's set to 2 Hertz that is extremely low right very very low it's definitely not audible I don't I don't believe you start hearing frequencies until you hit like 50 60 and that's like your bass tones right um, that may not be completely accurate you know it's different for individuals I, I believe the human hearing I believe human hearing is like somewhere between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz something like that and then it kind of degrades over time as you get older so anyways 2 hertz is definitely not audible this is something we can adjust uh, just to briefly look at you have sync options so you can sync it to the, the rhythm in different um, note values whole notes half notes dotted quarter notes, half note triplets. So you can go through and, and kind of check that out. I'm gonna leave this off because I usually just prefer it to be off. Um, of course, like I said, this is just a, a starting point for y'all to kind of experiment with. Do what works for you, what sounds good. Uh, 
but beyond this uh, waveform the saw I think my preference now at this point is the noise because if you look at the shape it's even less predictable it's less rhythmic so which is going to produce more of uh, you know that warble imperfect pitch it's you know that we get from the vinyl or tape speed And from here, I'm going to adjust the rate, which is the frequency. So it'll actually probably, it's going to start to speed up the, I guess, sort of the vibrato effect that you get from the, you know, the up and down um, pitch variation. And you can see the waveform changing as you do that. So that's basically your starting point to get your sounds to sound uh, lo-fi or, you know, add that vinyl sim effect, that wow and flutter. Um, but there is one other thing you can add to this, which will actually make it sound even better and a little bit more subtle rather than it just being the LFO just being applied to your, your loop the whole time all the way through your sequence. So we can look at automation and kind of automate in the... Uh, destination of the pitch so let's take a look at that so right here we got pitch if I click over one I can now control the pitch with this cue link up here on the top See that? all right so my lighting is not doing this justice but if you're familiar with it, there is this um, automation selection here, button up here on the top. At the moment, it just has an R on it. It's a green color. You want to click it once so it has a W on it and it's red. So the W stands for right. So this um, activates the automation. So settings that I change on the fly will now be recorded. Once I'm done, I'll click it again, and it'll be set to that green color with the R, which stands read. It will now read all the automation that I've written. Um, so what I'm going to do is use this cue link to kind of randomly adjust the pitch. And I'm not going to go past that sweet spot, which for me was around three. I may go up past it a little bit, but I'm going to try to keep it um, relatively in that sweet spot, about three, four, maybe even five. So I'm going to randomly automate the pitch in here as I play the beat back. So I got some drums with this piano. I got some uh, vinyl crackle to add to that, you know, lo-fi sound. So here we go. Just play back and adjust. If I select that, now it's on read, and you'll be able to see the pitch is automated. Now, if you don't like that, you can click erase, select automation, hit do it. It'll erase all that automation. I can start over and try it again. So there you go. That's the quickest way to make your loops lo-fi in the NPC standalone. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask a question. How about a video suggestion? If you got an idea, I may consider it. So put it down there in the comments. I appreciate y'all. If you want to support monetarily, uh, the next uh, cheapest way to do that is become a Patreon for a dollar a month. I got samples over there. Working on some other ideas, hopefully soon. And then there is a link in the uh, description as well under that Patreon link for some Beatmaker t-shirts. Uh, some motivational type stuff 
just made a new one up there. It's called the Run Your Dreams T. Um, just a motivational type of thing. And I, I'm going to work on some more shirts in the future and hopefully get to that 10K so I can have that little, uh, that little shopping cart right underneath my video so you guys can see all the products that I have uh, coming eventually. So I appreciate y'all. Also, affiliate links in the description if you haven't bought your NPC yet, just thinking about it. Um, or any of the gear that I have that you may be interested in. You can see it in the description. Purchase there. No extra cost to you. It helps the channel. I appreciate y'all. Till next time, stay humble, be bold, God bless, and run with your dreams.